In this episode, I'm going to be talking about PHP blocks in your themes. So we already covered the configuration block, but in this episode, we are going to uh, take a look at the PHP block and how it could be very useful to us, especially if you want your themes to look clean and uh, if you want to get some data uh, to display on your page. Okay, so I'm on my movies.htm page uh, in Olympus Teams, actually Teams Olympus pages, movies. And as you can see, we have this, this is called the configuration block. So we have the title of the page, URL, layout, and so on. Also, you have this builder list. So this builder list actually builds the movies that are displayed on that page. So if I go to this page, so to movies, we get all the movies that we have, we get the pagination and that's it. So in October, how we did that in the previous episodes is we got to the movies page, actually, yes, movies right here. And we have this uh, component right here. So uh, that comes from the builder plugin and we then define some things right here. So which model should they use? Uh, how many records per page should be displayed, sorting and so on. But as you can see, this doesn't look very pretty. First of all, you got this whole builder class right here. And then you have a setting of some um, variables in Twig. And then you display the movies and then you display this whole pagination bit right here. And it's not very clean. So let's just remove all of that all the way to the builder list. And now we are going to be introduced to something called the PHP block. And to create a PHP block, you just add two more equal signs right here. And now in this area here, you write your PHP. So you have configuration block and then you have this PHP block. So to start writing PHP block, you just do this. So opening and closing PHP tags, and then uh, you have a function that you have to start first. So this uh, function is called on start. So this is going to be run before the page renders. So you just do function on start. Okay, and now we have our start function. Now, how do we get the movies this way? Well, we do it by using the Laravel's query builder. So as you know, October is based on Laravel and you can use all the uh, builder functions that you need right here. As you will see, they're pretty easy. They're, they're practically like uh, writing English. Uh, but before we do that, we just want to use our model. So since we are displaying movies right here, I'm going to use the movies model. So watch, learn movies, models, movie. Okay. And now we want to get all the movies. <clears throat> so how do we do that? Well, you just do this. And now you write the name of your variable. What will the variable actually array that is going to contain all of your movies be called? Of course, it's going to be called movies. And now uh, this is the most simple uh, Laravel query builder function. So we just uh, write the model name and then we write get. So that will get all of the movies from our database. And that's it. Of course, if we save this now and go to this page, refresh it, nothing will happen. Why? Because right here we said we want to look for the array called record uh, records and then display all. So this is a for each loop, which will display all of our records. Uh, of course, our array is currently called movies, not records. So let me just show you first uh, how those movies get get here. So if we just do the DD or die and dump, save this. And now if I refresh the page, 
I will get the collection of all the items, so of all the movies, we, we have 100 movies, and this is the first movie, the second movie, and so on. So as you can see, this variable right here, movies, <coughs> is uh, uh, contains all of our movies. So to display them, we would just have to replace all of this right here. So record in records and so on. So first of all, I'm going to uh, delete the pagination right here because uh, we will not need it in this way. I will delete that. Uh, if there are no movies, I will just write, okay. Uh, and now I will just replace all the record. So you see, we have record name here, for example, we won't have, we want to have a movie name. So I'm going to replace everything in the current file. So record, I'm going to replace it with a movie so that we don't go uh, one by one. Okay. So now we have movie in movies. And now we don't need this spaceless right here. Uh, we also don't need this. We will have uh, a normal a tag. So no details page and so on, because we know where our detail page is. Okay, so the movie name should come in between a tags. Uh, movie description, okay, no movies found. And we only have to set up our link. So as you can see, our link right now looks very uh, weird. So details page, page, details URL parameters, attribute and so on. So I'm just going to remove all of that. And we are going to link it to movies and movie slug. So all of our movies have slugs and when we click on it, it's going to go to movies, movie, movie slug. And then we are going to display the movie name and the short description of the movie. If there are no movies found, then we will show this right here. As you can see, our code is about at least 20 lines shorter right now, and it's much easier to read. So you have this for each uh, with li in it, and then we have the movie title, we have the movie link and the description of the movie. If we save this, refresh the page, now we get all of our movies again, uh, but we are getting all hundred of them on one page. We will. Uh, correct that shortly. If I click on this link, I will go to the movie that I want. And that's it. As you can see, it's pretty easy and it looks much, much better and it's cleaner and easier to read. Okay, so of course we don't want to display uh, all of the movies on one page. We want to paginate them. So to do that, you just simply do instead of get, you just get paginate. And let's say we want to display 20 movies. Okay, now if we save this, refresh the page, we get only first 20 movies, but we still need that pagination. So instead of all of that code that we had right here, we can just do something like, I'm just going to add a new class, actually a new div right here, and I'm just going to do movies render raw. And that should be it. Save this. If we go to our page right now, now we have the pagination all set up, right? Okay, so <clears throat> uh, this movies.render.raw comes from October and it's uh, pagination for this type of thing. Of course, you can read the documentation about it right here and how, uh, how you can customize it to suit your needs. But uh, this pagination is pretty good and it's also all of the, all of the classes are based on Bootstrap framework. So there will be pretty easy to style if you wanna style them. Okay. 
Next thing we are going, I'm going to show you how you can order your uh, movies by some criteria. In our example, it's going to be by a year. So first of all, I'm just going to go to the title right here and just display the year of the movie uh, because uh, we want to see it when it's displayed on our page. So we have this year column in our uh, table, database table. And if I save this, refresh it, now we get the years of the movies. Okay, so how do we order them? Well, pretty simply, we just remove paginate for now and we just do order by and we want to order them by year in descending order. And then we want to paginate them to display only 20 results per page. And that should be it. We save this, go to our page. And as you can see, the first movie is 2016, 15, 14, and so on. If we go to the last page, we will get that the last movie is from 1970. And that's it. So that's the way you order. Of course, you can order them by created date, by year, by name, or whatever you want. So whatever columns you have in your table, you can order them by that. Okay, so now let's do the same thing for the single movie. I'm just going to go to my home page and find the movie inception because we have all the images and actors and so on in it. So we search it with our search function, visit the page and now we have this movie right here. Okay, so that movie is displayed on this page called movie-single.htm. If I click on it, we can of course also see all of those builder uh, stuff. So I'm going to delete this, I'm going to delete this and all of this other thing, uh, things can stay. Of course, I'm going to open a new PHP block right here. And actually, I'm just going to copy this so I, I don't have to write it again. So we are using the model movies and on start, we don't want to get movies because we are displaying just one movie. We want to get movie. And how do we get that movie? So as you can see, the URL of this page is movies, movies, uh, movie slug. Okay. So we get the slug as the last parameter of that URL. And as you can see right here, uh, this slug is not good because uh, we used uh, that uh, faker plugin to <clears throat> display all of uh, uh, to to actually create our slugs. So it's not inceptions inception in this case, but uh, we can of course change it, and it wouldn't be a problem when you actually enter movies by hand. But okay, so this is the slug of our movie and it's displaying this movie. Okay, so we need a way to say, okay, so when you get on this page, read that parameter up there, so get the slug of the movie, and then display the movie with that slug. So the slugs should be unique. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, we just uh, remove this, so we, we are getting the movie where Okay, so we are getting the movie where slug is equal to this param. So this is the this of that URL. So parameter of that URL or of this page is slug. So get the movie that has the slug that is equal to this. Right? So I hope that's pretty clear and get the first movie with that slug. And that should be it. Uh, of course, if we save this right now and refresh the page, we get nothing because we got this if record, then uh, else not found message and so on. So we can just, just like we did for the movies, 
uh, search and replace them so record replace the record with the movie as you can see we don't even have uh, a uh, for each loop right here because we are displaying only one movie okay so now we all of this is movie movie name we poster movie year okay save it refresh the page and now we get our movie like usual but as you can see we still did manage to remove at least 10 lines from our code now let's say we want to display four movies on our front page so if i go to home page we have just this text right here and some actors and so on so let's say we want to display four movies right here so how do we do that well first of all i'm just going to go to the movies and uh, get this movie list copy it uh, go to my home page and below this form i'm going to set that movie list right here okay and now i'm going to of course create another uh, php block and i'm going to copy this okay so we are using movies once again uh, we have our function on start and now we want to display the movies so we want to display four movies uh, on our front page and to do that we will just take first four movies and display them on this page and to do that you just do this movies movie take get and that's it save it go to our page refresh it and as you can see we have uh, the first four movies displayed right on our home page as you can see pretty easy now i just want to show you one more thing and that is uh, you can get additional parameters from your url <clears throat> This is very useful when doing search. So if you want to do search by hand, uh, also when creating some sort of filters, you can do it this way if you want. Of course, the better way would probably be to create your own component for filtering your movies, but you can do it, do it this way also. So let's go to our movies right now. And uh, let's imagine this is a search page not the movies page but search page and we get to that search page once we enter something into this uh, search form and when we click search it takes us to the movie page and adds some parameters in our url we are going to do this by hand right now so we are searching for a movie let's say so i'm just going to write name name equals inception Uh, okay, I screwed this up a bit, sorry, not movie, -y, but movie, movies, uh, question mark, name equal inception, so this is what you have to write, not to <laughs> the things I write, written before, okay, so name inception, of course, we still get the page like it is because we didn't do anything with this parameter right here name equals inception so to get that parameter you would just do this so you would just do this name we are setting a new variable called name input get name so input get name will read your url and get the name parameter from from it and uh, to show you how this works we can die and dump and display the name right so if i save this and refresh the page we should just get inception right here okay so let's get all the movies with the name inception so to do that you just do the uh, since we are <clears throat> making a list of movies i'm going to comment this out and uh, do 
So movie, and now we do another query builder. We are going to say where name is like the name that you get from the URL and get all of the movies with that name. Right? So if I save this and go to our movies page, we get nothing, sorry. Oh, it's because I, uh, I actually call this, this name, not this movies. Okay, let's try it again. And now we get inception. So this is the way you would maybe create your search. So you would just uh, send with get request a URL uh, parameter right here. And then when you hit this page, you would take that parameter and display the movie. Of course, you can make a few parameters right here. So movie year and so on. And that way, in that way, you would create a filter which would filter through the movies with a certain year or maybe with a certain actor and so on. So as you can see, PHP blocks are very, very useful. You can use them like this. Also, I would compare them to something like uh, WordPress's custom query, but this is just so much better because it's using Laravel uh, at the bottom. So uh, definitely check out this uh, database query builder. You will get all the methods that you need to select from your table and so on. And you can use them uh, very simply right here and create many complex queries, maybe if you need them to display the data on your page. Okay, so this has been it for this maybe a bit longer episode. Uh, remember everything we did here will be available for you on GitHub. The link will be in the description below. You can ask me questions on Facebook or on Twitter or on YouTube and my website, of course. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the content I put out, maybe, I don't know, subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.